What's going on, everybody? This is Mike F Mike Roberts, and I'm back! And I'm here to tell you about some stuff that's on my mind. Double doink. I've got one thing on my mind right now, and it is the double doink. That is when I'm referring to the Philadelphia Eagles beating the Chicago Bears 16-15 to at last Sunday's playoff game when Cody Parkey of the Chicago Bears tried to kick their winning field goal, but he missed and he hit the goal post not once, but twice. The ball that Cody Parkey kicked just pivoted off Trayvon Heston's hand and then it just, you know, went the wrong way. Why don't we take a look at this picture of Trayvon Heston right here? Hester was trying to give his team the Vulcan sign or something like that. It was like he was going, live long and prosper. Ow! What was that? Did the ball just hit my hand? Why is everybody booing? Oh god, we won the game, that's awesome! Double doink! Now Philly's all about the double doink right now. There are t-shirts made with double doink printed right on them. There is a billboard in South New Jersey with double doink written on it. Even the Pico Tower in Philly just has an animated picture of the ball just hitting the goalpost twice. Even Gritty was trolling Cody Parkey at a Flyers game doing the whole bird box challenge thing. At this point, Parkey wants to give Gritty a good ass kicking, which will bounce off his head twice so Gritty ain't scared. I'm proud of Philly for this. It's gotta be hard for Chicago. You know why? Because unlike that ball Parky kicked, the Bears won't bounce back. Now on social media all over the world, not just Philadelphia, Eagles fans posted their reactions. Even some in Mexico. They're cheering like hell. Mexico, were they singing like, fly Eagles fly, through that wall we won't pay for. Please be aware that I am not trying to insult Mexicans. I'll leave that to the the commander-in-chief. Philly fandom is global because last year we won the Super Bowl, so, you know, we're like the underdogs. Now we're pretty close to winning the Super Bowl again. Can we do it? Because tomorrow, which is Sunday, we're playing the New Orleans Saints. Earlier this season, they beat us 48-7. to Two predictions I know of say the Saints will win. If we lose this game, that means this double doink thing that we're so excited about will become completely irrelevant. What are we going to do with our double doink t-shirts and that billboard? Are they gonna become like Christmas decorations just hard to take down? Think about it, if we lose tomorrow's game, that means Double Doink is only relevant for seven days. Hanukkah lasts longer than the relevance of Double Doink if we lose tomorrow's game. If you get a whole week off of school, the Friday before that week and the Monday after that week is longer than the relevance of Double Doink if we lose tomorrow's game. Kim Kardashian's first marriage was 10 times as long as the relevance of Double Doink if we lose tomorrow's game. So go birds, come on, root for us. Nobody likes us, no one likes us. Guess what, we don't care. We are from Philly, mother Philly. That's right, we don't care. 610 Productions.